Hello, welcome to another LEGO Bullock review. This is a quick review on uh, DQ C183, the Green Goblin from the uh, new Amazing Spider Man, no, Ultimate Spider Man cartoon series version. Uh, top of the box, front of the box, this was 15 Hong Kong dollars. Uh, <laughs> Spider Man in the background there. Uh, the wrong Spider Man suit though, that's the Amazing Spider Man movie suit. But anyway, uh, ooh. if you want to take a closer look at the box art and photo shoot of the figure, please feel free to head over to the, the Flickr link in the description below. Assembly guide and just other side box. So I bought two packs of these, it was no biggie. And um, yeah, here we are. Obviously modeled after the exacts. I don't have the official one because I don't watch the new Spider-Man cartoon series. Nor do I care for a giant green goblin figure. I have the classic one from the first movie. Yeah, years ago. You know, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. So, hmm. And a fun fact that uh, these hands, both of them, are attached to like a little plastic bracket. So you have to pull it out like a model kit. I'm kind of weird that they do that, kind of. Oh well. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Here's uh, green goblin. The print on this on the face is pretty good. It's pretty sharp. Uh, no misprints. Uh, this one as well, very sharp, colors very good. Uh, the molding is okay, apart from these two plastic bits here, because you pull it out from the plastic cell, get a nail clip or something and just trim it. The overall build feels pretty solid. Uh, the seam lines here are not too bad, not the best, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, the black paint is pretty good, uh, but the silver paint seems a bit off in certain places. But uh, you know, from distance it looks perfect, From if you get close up, uh, numerous places, especially on the back where there's more shiny black paint, it feels like there's some, like someone's left some grease or some dust on it. And try to rub it, it doesn't rub off. No, that's just how the paint looks like. Uh, so that's that's not too cool. But overall, for fifteen Hong Kong dollars, um, you, you, like if you chuck this into a bin full of other Lego big figs, it might get lost and cause a few other differences, including no Lego trademark printed um, or molded into the bottom of the feet. It's been smoothed out. But overall, uh, pretty decent. Um, Green Goblin figs. If you like these big figs, I don't care for them too much and I won't be keeping them. Uh, I'm only doing this for the review for you guys so you can see it and stuff. So, uh, that's the big fig Green Goblin. Subscribe to Justin going below. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.